With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Dot product of a vector with the vectors i cap minus j cap plus k cap and 2 i cap plus j cap minus 3 k cap and the third one is i cap plus j cap plus k cap are respectively 4, 0 and 2. And then find the vector. So let's suppose the vector is r vector is equal to x i cap plus y j cap and plus z k cap. So here we have given the dot product of this vector with the with this vector is equal to 4. So here we can say vector r dot vector this that is i cap minus j cap plus k cap is equal to 4. And here we have assumed the value of the vector r that is x i cap plus y j cap and plus z k cap dot i cap minus j cap plus k cap is equal to 4. Here we will discuss the concept of the dot product. If we have given the vector a is equal to a1i plus a2j plus a3k, this is k cap, j cap and i cap and we have also given the vector b is equal to b1i cap plus b2j cap and plus b3k cap. Then here we have to calculate the vector a dot vector b. Then it will be a1 b1 plus a2 b2 and plus a3 b3. So by using this we can say this will be x minus y and plus z equal to 4. Let's suppose this is equation 1. And we have also given that is dot product of vector r with 2i cap plus j cap minus 3k cap is equal to we have also given that is 0. So we will put the value of the vector r that we have assumed that is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap dot 2i cap plus j cap and minus 3 k cap is equal to 0. So by using this concept we can say it will be 2x plus y and minus 3z is equal to 0. This is our equation second. And we have also given that is dot product of vector r with the vector that is we have given i plus j plus k is equal to 2. i plus j unit vector i cap j cap plus k cap is equal to is equal to 2 and here we have assumed the value of the vector a and that is vector r so the value of the vector r is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap dot i cap plus j cap and plus k cap is equal to 2 so by using the concept of the dot product this is we have already discussed we will write it as a x plus y plus z is equal to 2. Let's suppose this is equation third. So by using the equation first, second and third, we will calculate the value of the x, y and z. So we have given the first equation that is x minus y plus z x x minus y plus z equal to we have given that is 4. So this is equation first and equation second is 2x plus y minus 3z equal to 0 this is equation second and x plus y plus z equal to 2 this is equation third so if we add equation first and third then we will get add equation first plus third then we will get it will be x minus y plus z plus x plus y plus z equal to 6 so here y will be cancelled out with y. So this will be 2x plus z equal to 6. And here we have calculated the x plus z is equal to 3. So put the value of x plus z in equation third and we will get put in equation third. Then we will get 
x plus z plus y is equal to 2 so here we have calculated the value of the x plus z is 3 then 3 plus y is equal to 2 so here we will calculate the value of the y it will be minus 1 so the value of the y is minus 1 so we will put the value of y minus 1 in equation first and equation second so put this value then it will be x plus z x plus z equal to 3 and it will be we will put the value of y equal to minus 1 in equation second then it will be 2x plus minus 3z is equal to 1 so if we do the multiplication of 2 in this equation multiplication by 2 here and here is also 2 then this will be we will write it will be 2x plus 2z is equal to 6 so when we simplify this then we will get if we subtract these two equation that is minus and here plus and minus and minus so this will be cancel out and the remaining is minus 5z is equal to minus 5 so the value of the z so minus 5 will be cancel out with minus 5 so the value of the z is equal to 1 so for finding the value of the x we will put the value of the z here in this then we will get 2x plus 2 z that is 1 is equal to 6 then 2x 2x is equal to 6 minus 2 then we can say it will be 2x equal to 4 and here the value of the x is equal to 2 so here we have calculated the value of the x y and z so here we will find the value of the required vector that we have assumed that is vector r equal to x i plus y z plus z k so the required vector r required vector r equal to x i x i k plus y j k and plus z k k so here we have calculated the value of the x so the required vector r equal to x i that is 2 i plus y j so the value of the y is minus 1 so it will be minus j k plus the value of the z is equal to 1 so it will be k k so this is our required vector thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today